ego. Nobody is interested in spiritual life. Therefore, no customer is coming. We go to sell our goods there. Have you had a significant impact on the American society? What is that? What is that? Have you had a significant impact on the American society? The value you preach has it. Yes. Uh, oh yes, you can go in America, any pl country, any city, and everyone will know Hare Krishna. We're getting. Uh, that's not what I mean. Uh, what I mean is, have Americans started to be less violent, for instance, or have they started to be less egoistical, or have they started to be less? Uh, well, not unless they follow our movement. But those who have followed our movement. Recently there was one study that was published by a very eminent sociologist in America from the University of California, the Union Theological Center. And he stated in that book that the members of this movement, formerly they were drug-addicted hippies, and now they have become servants of Krishna and humanity, loving servants. So he has given proof through uh, intensive interviews that uh, one who follows, joins this movement, he uh, dramatically his life becomes changed. He is a big professor and, and his books are being sold in a higher circle. Professor Judah, Professor Judah, one's life perfect and successful. Is uh, related to Shivananda movement. Hmm? Hmm. What is that? The, the movement of Swami Shivananda. Divine Life Society. I do not know anyone's movement. Uh, we are pushing on our movement on the basis of Bhagavad Gita, Krishna's movement. Therefore, we have named Krishna Consciousness. So, if you know, about the Bhagavad Gita, then talk on that. Don't bring anyone else. Bhagavan Krishna has mentioned that so dharma is an But uh, I want to know why you are uh, creating a class of sannyasis like these people to bar their uh, work. That is your ignorance. You do not know what is sadharma. Sadharma, according to Bhagavad Gita, sadharma means varnasam dharma. Uh, <coughs> four varnas and four ashrama. Brahman, Khatriya, Vaishra, Sudra. These are four varnas. And four ashramas means brahmachari, grihastha, vānaprastha, and sanya. So, uh, our Indian culture means varnāsam dharma. Varnāsam charavata purusena parakpama viṣṇu āradhate kumsa. It is a systematic way of social and spiritual life, is varnāsam dharma. So unless one comes to this system of life, he is not a human being, he is an animal. The primary form of income is through the sale of books. Srila mm -hmm. Prabhupada has written uh, almost 60 books, 400 pages each. These books are published by the Bhaktivedanta Book Trust, which has headquarters in Los Angeles, London, and Bombay, and London, Los Angeles, and um, and New York. So the amount of literature is quite large. First of all, we have our Back to Godhead magazine, a monthly magazine that is now being published, uh, one million copies per month. And then uh, of the books, um, the sale per month. Uh, the sale of the month is two hundred fifty thousand dollars per month, approximately between three and three thirty in the morning, 
and we take uh, morning bath and put uh, tea lock on the body, 12 different places. Then we uh, have uh, Mangal Arti, we worship the deity. Here we have the deity of Gornitai. Our other temples, we have Radha Krishna. And uh, after Mangal Arti, then we perform the Japa meditation. And uh, we, rec we chant at least 16 rounds on the Japa beads a da daily. That takes approximately two hours of time. Then we uh, have our classes. We have classes in Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, which is 12 cantos in length, 18,000 verses, and which has been given by Srila Prabhupada with very elaborate purports for each verse. So each day, one verse is very carefully uh, studied and analyzed and understood. Then we have our uh, prasadam. We are vegetarians. We do not take any meat, fish, or eggs. And then afterwards we have our morning duties. We have so many different activities, our work. And this way the day is spent up until uh, approximately 10 o'clock at night when we take our rest. <laughs>